Wherever love goes, there is also misery It's no mystery And you and I, we got history, yeah Hey guys, it's your girl Joanna, and for today's makeup tutorial, I'm bringing you guys this super glammed up version of Luna from Sailor Moon. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, then keep on watching. Starting off with two primers, and the first primer I'm using is the Nivea Men Poche Balm. It isn't exactly a primer, but I like to use it because it keeps my makeup staying on all day. And the second primer I'm using is the Benefit Professional Primer, and I mostly target where my pores are mostly enlarged. For foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in warm beige, and I'm applying it using my e.l.f. beauty sponge. So I'm going to conceal up a little bit, and I'm using the Amazing Cosmetics um, Concealer in medium golden, and I'm, I'm just applying this like wherever I feel like I need to conceal, of course. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out using my e.l.f. beauty sponge. To set my face, I am using the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder. Um, if you guys are looking for something to specifically mattify your face, definitely give this powder a try. I was like super presently, presently, pleasantly surprised by it. So I wanted to brighten up my face a bit, so I'm using the Maybelline Dream Lumi Highlighting Concealer. And this is in the color Buff Chamois. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. To contour my face, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in the color Fawn. Um, this color Fawn is specifically um, for contouring though. To deepen up my contour, I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer and I'm just applying this wherever I contoured, which is like the hollows of my cheeks and the sides of my jaw. Next, I'm going to bake my face and I'm using the Cody, um, what's it called? The Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm just applying this where I specifically like highlight it slash conceal my face. So I'm using my Morphe 35N palette and I'm going to take this purple shade right here and I'm going to apply it using the Morphe E50 brush and I'm just sweeping this onto my forehead ever so lightly and fading it down. Next I'm going to take this darker purple color and with the same brush I'm doing the exact same thing sweeping on from my hairline and fading it down towards my brows. Now I'm going to take an even darker purple color and doing the exact same thing where I go from my hairline and fade it down towards my brows. So I wanted to deepen up um, the color near my hairline so I'm taking a black color and you want to just softly apply this and I'm using the same brush but definitely use it with a very light hand because it's pretty pigmented. Then with a clean fluffy brush I went in just to soften up the edges and I'm using the Morphe E48 brush. Going into the eyes, I am priming it using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. With the same Morphe 35N palette, I'm going to use my Morphe E28 brush and apply this like light beige nude color and basically setting this all over my lids. Then I'm going to take this light brownish color and with the same brush, I'm going to apply this into my crease and outer corner of my eyes. And when you have the outer corners, you're just going to want to like flick it out towards the end. Again, with the same brush, I'm going to take this purple color and apply it into my crease and outer corner of my eyes. And again, when you get to the outer corner of your eyes, make sure you just want to do some kind of like flicking motion. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take this dark purple color and with the Morphe E17 brush, I'm going to focus on the outer corner of my eyes and just blend it in lightly into my crease. And when you go to the outer corner, make sure you also do that flicking motion so it has like that sharp cat eye V kind of looking kind of thing. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use this ColourPop Cosmetics Super Shock Shadow in the color Dance Party. These are their like new glitter kind of shadow. I don't really know how to specifically call it. But I'm just applying it using my fingers and I'm just putting this all over the center of my eyes. So we're going to finish under the eyes and I'm taking my Morphe E24 brush. And we're going to take that purple color, then the dark purple color, and then the color Dance Party from ColourPop. And apply this all under the eyes. Next, I'm taking this Maybelline waterproof gel pencil and this is called Lustrous Sapphire and I'm just applying this to my bottom and top waterline. This part's kind of optional. I wasn't actually going to do it at first but I decided to do a little wing liner and I'm using the Wet n Wild black eyeliner and I'm, of course I'm just creating a little wing. To finish off the eyes, I'm just applying these lashes from Dodo Lashes and these are the style D303. Now I'm going to go back to the face and apply some blush. I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne and I'm applying it using the Wet n Wild Blush Brush. And then I'm going to take this ColourPop Cosmetics Super Shock Chic Highlighter and this one is called Over the Moon and I'm applying it using the Morphe M509 Brush. Now we're going to do the most important part of this look, which is draw that little upside down crescent moon kind of thing that Luna has on her forehead. And we're going to use the NYX Glam Liner in 24 karat gold. And you definitely want to take your time on this because this liner dries really quick, so it's kind of hard to erase any mistakes you make. Then I'm going to outline under my brow, and I just like doing this because I think it's cute, honestly. So now we're going to finish up the eyes and I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Face and Body Glitter in Glitter Primer and the glitter is in the color gold and I'm just applying this to the inner corner of my eyes just to make it pop some more because you know it's supposed to be a glammed up version of Luna. Last but not least, we're going to finish off the lips and I'm using the ColourPop Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the color Guess. And after you apply the liquid lipstick, I'm going to take the color Dance Party from ColourPop and apply this to the center of my lips just to make my lips pop out just a bit more. So now we're going to do our hair and I'm taking these cat ears that I got from Charlotte Russe like a while ago and some black pipe cleaners and I'm just going to take the pipe cleaners and wrap it around the ear part of the headband and I'm doing this so that when I wrap my hair around it, it my hair is definitely going to stay in place. I mean you can definitely just go out and buy a pair of cat ears and call it a day but I really wanted to use my hair and I found that this technique definitely keeps the hair in place. So after you're done with that, you're just going to go ahead and place it on your head and take a piece of hair. And when you take the piece of hair, make sure it's kind of like wide, like the way you see in the video. And then you're just going to slowly wrap it around, like carefully wrap it around tight. And then you're going to go ahead and just simply bobby pin it. And that's all it is to it. Um, super simple, super easy, super cute. And yeah, it's just, it's just super. <laughs> And this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like and enjoyed watching me doing this glammed up version of Luna from Sailor Moon. I really enjoyed creating this look. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy your Halloween. And again, thanks for watching.